Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Out of cheesy! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, former Russian President Boris Yeltsin first visited Japan in 1990. During his visit, one night, he secretly knocked on the door of a Japanese restaurant in Akasaka, Tokyo, a tiny place with seating for only 10 people. Yeltsin thoroughly enjoyed Japanese sake with exquisite dishes prepared by the chef, and after the final dish, he was so moved by the flavor, he suddenly rose and offered a handshake to the chef. And when he returned to Japan in 1993 for the Tokyo Summit meeting, the first thing he did was to make a reservation at that restaurant. But the chef turned Yeltsin down, saying that he couldn't get the right ingredients under such short notice. It was a reservation for that very night. There's not enough time to do things right. Hmm? Today's challenger, the man who conquered Yeltsin's palate, owner and chef of Takahashi in Akasaka, Tokyo, Masamitsu Takahashi. He stepped into the world of cooking at age 18. His grand career started in Kyoto, receiving training at top restaurants, names of which I won't dare disclose here. Later, he gained more experience in Hakata, Kochi, and other places rich in natural ingredients. And at age 40, he opened a small place offering Kyoto-style Japanese cuisine. When he doesn't have the right ingredients, he doesn't think twice about turning down VIPs. He only works with personally selected ingredients delivered to him directly, and when he can't get them, he won't even stand in front of the cutting board. If I can't get them, I won't turn to others. I'll just drop it from the menu. Takahashi can perhaps hear the voices of the ingredients themselves, to which he listens carefully to prepare his traditional Kyoto-style cuisine. A man who taught Yeltsin what Japanese food is all about in just one night. The word compromise is not in his dictionary. Now, Takahashi, with the very best ingredients we have here in the kitchen stadium, teach us the heart of Japanese food. Within the given hour, I truly look forward to seeing how much of what I have that I can offer.
Today's challenger satisfied the taste buds of former Russian President Boris Yeltsin, while our guest today reported on him over the years. Newscaster Ren Ho, thanks for coming in. Nice to be here. I hear you handle yourself uh, quite okay in the kitchen. Yeah, okay. I'm a genius when it comes to combine leftovers that, uh, well, nobody else would probably dare to combine, for example. Well, okay, you'll be right at home here. Really? <laughs> yes, enjoy today. <laughs> My pleasure. And our commentator, Dr. Yuki Otori. Doc? Always a pleasure. Okay, let's bring on Chairman Kaga.料理人の世界では何を作ったかより誰に食べさせたかで評されることがあるようです。まさかあのエリツに強料理を食べさせた料理人がいるとは予想だにしませんでした。世界を動かす all right, coming in, wearing his Geta clogs, a man who makes no compromises in his Kyoto-style cuisine. He'll say no if he can't get it just right, even to international VIPs. Well, it must have been a very hard work to gather all of these quality ingredients in one place here today. それでは我が美食アカデミーが誇る3人の鉄人を登場させましょう。Making their ascent into the ethereal atmosphere of Kitchen Stadium, the men who thrive on the cutting edge of the culinary arts and dominate the nation's culinary scene, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. Kyoto no ano chou ichiryu ryotei ni irashiyatta to ka. Masa ni keireki wa tetsujin ni otoru tokoro wa nai to omoimasu ga sa dare to tatakaimasu ka? Sakai san if I may. It is Sakai, Takahashi avoiding Michiba and going after the Iron Chef French. Hiroyuki Sakai, a pioneer, one of the first to fuse Japanese techniques with French recipes. And for his creative use of color and form in his dishes, he's known as the Delacroix of French cuisine. Today, against the Kyoto style master, the artistic quotient had better be high. <laughs> テーマ。今回その選択に迷いはありませんでした。香り高い秋。あの高級な素材の魅力を存分に引き出してもらいたいと思います。それでは発表します。今日のテーマはこれです。If memory serves me right, the people of the Tamba region, well known for this mushroom, once told me that the best time to enjoy it was just before the buds spread out. This mushroom has many names according to its growth. The young and closed ones are called Koro, the slightly opened ones Tsubomi, and completely opened Hiraki. And the best time is when the bud is just about to open. Why? Because that's the time the spores under the cap mature, thus the most aromatic. 
If you are ever lucky enough to find this mushroom, remind yourself just before the buds spread out. What a battle looms with the Kyoto style cuisine master challenger Takahashi, who's drawn raves from the former Russian head of state against Iron Chef French Sakai with a quintessential ingredient for Japanese cuisine. We're set to rock. Let's get it on. On it, cuisine. Bang a gong, we are on. French versus Kyoto style cuisine with Matsutake mushrooms as the theme. And the men making their way up. Sakai, the first up to the stand, first crack at them and duck. Yeah. These Matsutake mushrooms today coming in from where? From Iwate Prefecture. All right. And they're a little pricey at this stage right now. You know, now. I'm afraid to ask how much they cost. Well, domestically about uh, 150 bucks a pop. What? <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, wow. Yeah, so about 70 or, we yeah, 7,500 dollars worth there. Got about 50 of them up there, yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes me dizzy. And with these, what dishes first come to mind? Well, the aroma is so good. Yes. So maybe mixed and steamed rice or soup, maybe? Okay, so uh, Doc, you'd have to think that today, aroma will be a key element to their dishes. That is always a priority here for these guys, yeah. Now I see the challenger doing something. He's removing the, the dust or the dirt that collects on the surface of these. Okay. This is the, the correct way to do it. Really? Yeah, I, I noticed the Iron Chef rinsing them in water, and I'm guessing he did that because the caps weren't open on, on the ones he's got yet, but normally this is the way you, you handle them. Okay, that's good to know. Huh. And uh, this kind of tells you how much this guy knows Very and cares careful. about his ingredients. Yeah. So we should do it like this at home, too, with this exactly. special mushroom. Yeah, gently clean the surface with a cloth. Not in water. Never, no. And the Iron Chef only did that because the caps were closed. Uh, he's got rather young ones, so the water won't wash in away any of the spores hmm. there. So the idea here is saving the aroma. Right, exactly. And it's be interesting to watch Sakai because matsutake mushrooms aren't really used in French cooking. Right. And uh, But as you know, you know, generally mushrooms are very popular, used in a lot of different dishes. So he shouldn't have uh, too much trouble. Shouldn't be able to have a few inspirations along the way here. Okay, but uh, that is why after the theme was unveiled that the Iron Chef didn't look like uh, he was sitting on top of the world today, you know, with that uh, matsutake mushrooms. Yeah, that's true. But the challenge looked totally poker face. From the floor, Shinichiro to go. Yeah, after hearing the announcement of the theme ingredient, Iron Chef Sakai told me that he he thought it was going to be chestnuts, that's what he was guessing, and he'd even planned a dessert strategy. Now he says, man, not again. Why do I always get the tough ones? <laughs> Sakai feeling put under the gun once more by the chairman's choice of theme, but he had a grin right there. And now with the challenger here, look at this. Okay, he's chopping up the stems right now. Uh-huh. And man alive, look at the size of that <laughs> one there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I asked Challenger Takashi what he thinks about today's theme, Matsutake mushrooms, and his expression didn't change a bit when he replied, Matsutake, just leave it to me, I think I've got the edge. Ooh. Hey, you're making them sound like the heavy here. <laughs> All right, Takahashi gonna take this theme and run with it, of course, for Kyoto cuisine in the fall. Matsutake mushrooms are a must. Yeah, this is the ultimate key, the king of autumn ingredients, as they say. It's yeah. flavor, aroma, texture, it's the absolute best. All right. And now the Iron Chef side slicing up some meat, uh, uh, duck there? Duck meat, yeah. Okay, some thin slices of that. Yeah, and he's using the, the breast, or if it was chicken, we'd call it the white meat. Uh -huh. Okay. And I think he'll probably be rolling matsutake up in these. Wow, all right. Now, would it be possible to make a sauce out of this mushroom? Oh, good point. Matsutake sauce? Possible, sure. Kind of condensing the aroma. Right, yeah. Oh, now we have Fuji wow. here, a tile fish from okay. the Snapper family, right. also Omar Lobster. Okay. Huh? On charcoal? Uh, bincho charcoal, yeah, the best in Japan. Look at that. Uh, yes, All right. that's right. He's going to barbecue. Wild mm. and bold. Yeah. For the mushrooms, too? Yeah, that's actually the best way to do this mushroom, with a little citrus juice and soy. Yeah. Ooh, that's the most luxurious. All right, Challenger piling on the charcoal, and now I can see Sakai's up to something else over there. Yeah, oh, he's got the Omar lobsters there. Still moving, Ooh. cutting up a live one. Uh, definitely fresh, these, yes. <laughs> yes, interesting. <laughs> Claws banded together, they're cut off now, and the band's being removed up close and personal right there oh. on that one. Oh. Well, it looks like it's mad, doesn't it? It's kind of spinning. It <laughs> sounds that way. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. Yeah, when I asked the challenger how many dishes he's planning to make today, once again, very businesslike, without wavering at all, he simply said three. Three, that's all, huh? Yes. All right. Hmm, so the Iron Chef's already cooking something. Yeah, he's sauteing something there in the pan, you can right. see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, looks like the duck meat. Yeah. And Fukuisan? Yes. Yeah, I just received word that the Iron Chef is also planning to make three dishes. All right, three on three. Fast break and your three against mine. And now Sakai got the fish head on grill. Yeah, I'm thinking this is probably the first step in making a, a soup or a stock for something. Okay, and he's... Uh, a few other pieces of the fish, too, are being barbecued. Yep. Okay, now the challenger has 
Umeboshi, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Looks like the it. cured plums? Okay. Oh, yeah, it does look like them, doesn't it? He just, like, crushed them up and dumped them into the broth. So, squeeze them, you mean? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Umeboshi there. Uh-huh. Okay, that'd be for seasoning. And the Iron Chef is now... What's this? The, oh, he's opening up the tilefish. This is the, the Japanese okay, technique. Okay, filets yeah. there, right on him. So I'm guessing he'll be rolling something up with the meat here. Uh, I see, I see. That's usually what it's for. Okay, matsutake mushrooms rolled up in these filets. Yeah, or scallions along with it. Something else maybe as well. Okay, and uh, putting a little pepper Kusan. on them there. Yes. I asked Challenger Takashi what kinds of matsutake mushroom dishes he would offer to former Russian President Boris Yeltsin next time he got the chance, and his a matter of fact answer was same things I'm making today. Back to you. <laughs> All right, and well, that would probably end up with the former Russian Prez raising his sake cup to Takahashi again. Fukuzan. Yes. I asked Challenger Takashi what kinds of matsutake mushroom dishes he would offer to former Russian President Boris Yeltsin next time he got the chance, and his a matter of fact answer was same things I'm making today. Back to you. All right, and that would probably end up with the former Russian Prez raising his sake cup to Takahashi again, or maybe <laughs> vodka. <laughs> no, let's take a look at the Iron Chef here. Okay. okay, now first he sauteed them lightly. Okay, mm -hmm. and right. The one's yeah. coming out here. And yes. rolling them up. Yeah, this is uh, something you got to do to get good results flavor-wise later when he's going to steam this. Okay. So the mushrooms, they go very well with oil. I see. All right. Kusan. Yes. Yeah, I asked the Iron Chef whether or not he ever uses this ingredient at his restaurant, and he was very blunt. He said, Matsutake? Nah, I never use it. So whatever I make today will all be completely new. Well, what else is new? <laughs> <laughs> and Takahashi with what here huh? now? Mushrooms, right? Yeah, I think he's making a tempura. Matsutake tempura. Ooh, I cannot wait. Uh, they are so good. Yeah, I've had it once, actually. Well, what's it like? Uh, one bite and you're in heaven. Absolutely. That's, <laughs> that's very I've nice. never had it. You'll never yeah. forget it. Yeah, and you can't stop that's when right. you've had one either. That's right. Yeah, And then money's no object. Well, save one for me after this, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it almost looks like Western-style fries, yes. doesn't it? Uh -huh. yeah. Fries, yeah. And huh? Iron Chef with uh, kombu now. What, uh, what's wow. he doing there? Well, he did say everything would be new recipes. They'd have to be today with matsutake <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> so I guess he'd probably be flavoring it then with the seaweed, right? You mean the fish? The tile oh, fish, to get yeah, the yeah. I, th flavor. Uh -huh, I think so. That, uh -huh. that, he'd do that before he wound up steaming the whole thing. All right. It's a Japanese technique through and through. No, uh, no French in there at all yet, no? Well, now, isn't that going to disqualify him? Is that okay? <laughs> These guys can do whatever they want. <laughs> I think this is just the beginning of a dish that we're uh -huh. seeing. Yeah. And he just said something there, right? Mumbling to himself, yeah. I think. It sounded like he didn't like something. All right, now, this will add aroma? Uh, even more, yeah. All right. Wow. He's using a lot, isn't he? What a waste. <laughs> just to infuse it with aroma. He's using a special way of cutting there, too, you can see. Uh-huh. Over a hundred bucks there, just for aroma. <laughs> hey, that's what you call value added. <laughs> can you steam this, please? Oh, uh, you see? For steaming. He's going to steam the whole you thing. You never yeah. miss a cue, Doc. That's my job. <laughs> All right, now the steamer being employed for this one. We're nearing the halfway point. And now the challenger, Takahashi, continuing with his fried matsutake. Wow. I don't know. Matsutake fries, it sounds too simple. Well, these mushrooms are so tasty and just absolutely profound, so he doesn't want to do too much to them. I, 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 I agree with him here. All right, working on that. And just check out the sizzle action on those fries as he continues to add them into that pan front right side. Wow. All right, 30 minutes gone, 30 to go, and Sakai slicing into it. Juicy looking center to that one. I believe the duck meat the there. Duck meat, yes, yeah, sauteed lightly first. Oh, boy, does that look good. Mm, it looks yummy. Cooked just right. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect, yeah. I could go for a bite of that right now. <laughs> I'm with you, I'm with you. It'd be even better with the theme ingredient. <laughs> of course, of course. All right, now Takahashi, edible chrysanthemum flowers. Yeah, yeah. Mixing them into citrus and soy, I mm -hmm. think. All right. And you know, he could be combining this whole up? thing. Yeah, like a salad. It should be very refreshing. Mm. Wow. And the texture of the chrysanthemum flowers will really add to this. I tell you, it's another one I could go for. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. It certainly does, yeah. Now, this one maybe will go as an appetizer? Could be. Fukuzan. All right, yes. When Challenger Takashi looked at the clock and noticed that he only had 25 more minutes left to go, he took a deep breath and let out a big, heavy sigh. Well, mm. it's not unusual. Another Challenger feeling the pressure of the clock, but appearance-wise, not much there to let you know that. It looks pretty much on top of things there. I think it'd make a good poker player. You know, I think he wants you to raise him. <laughs> well, he could be nervous inside, but he doesn't show it, right? All right, well, I think that comes from his uh, inner confidence. Could be, could be. All right, 
And now we are back with Sakai. And what is he doing here? Huh? Potatoes, I think. Oh, I, yeah, I think you're right. Potatoes. Oh, wow. Good call, yeah. Okay. Okay. Kuzan, yes. you are right about these being potatoes, yes. Okay, and loading up on the butter, too. Good well, vision. As long as it's not up close. For this, not impressed. <laughs> All right, enough of that, okay? <laughs> now he's adding even more butter. And now... Let's see, we we've go. got Takahashi here doing some whittling there. Yeah, he's getting rid of the base. Oh, look at that, it's just perfect shape and size of those. And that one is humongous, too. Yeah, mm. that one would probably be a little pricier, about 180 bucks. 180 <laughs> bucks a pop? Oh. Wow. Just, you know, just hearing these prices is making me depressed. Well, I'll tell you what, he's got four, maybe five times 180. Uh, it's almost a thousand dollars. I think he'll be using these for broiling. Or maybe cue them? Uh, yeah, exactly. Char broiling. That's it's actually the best way to enjoy these matsutake mushrooms. Okay, tasters are going to have a great one today. Three dishes from each man, a feast of matsutake mushrooms. And now, 20 minutes left in the battle. Iron Chef French Sakai, who has thousands of fans in Japan and around the world, versus challenger Masa Mitsu Takahashi, who has a big fan and a big man, both figuratively and literally, and former president of the Russian Federation, Boris Yeltsin. The two men duking it out with matsutake. And the steam ones there, they're almost done. Look at that. Here uh -huh. they are. Yeah. Uh -huh. And checking into the center he is. Mm -hmm. mm, I, you know, I hate to say it, but it looks so aromatic. <laughs> yeah, you can actually smell it from yeah, here. you can, you mm. can. He was right. <laughs> and the Iron Chef, he's got some chopped up mushrooms, I think. Right? Oh, look Sauté? at this. Yeah, matsutake shoestrings there. Uh, okay, sautéing them in butter, yeah. Well, that's pretty unusual, isn't mm. it? Mm. Wow, look at that. Matsutake sautéed in butter. Never seen anything like that well, before. Well, just like oil, butter matches well with mushrooms, so. You're trying to fool us. No, really, you should try this once. <laughs> Thin slices of beef and matsutake mushrooms sautéed in butter. Ah, uh, amazing dish. Sounds great. Yeah. So the Iron Chef. He knows what he's doing, uh, all right. Okay. Yeah. All right, now back with the challenger uh, here. Here we go, it's charbroiling time. He's gonna barbecue these gourmet mushrooms and he's got them skewered right there. Looks like each one has, what, two skewers running through them? Selected these were early and set aside and mm -hmm. now let's see there he goes Yeah, nice appearance too. Yeah, not just the shape either and these have just the best smell too And the cap isn't totally open yet. You can All see right. right they yeah, go down right. resting over the charcoal now Here's the iron chef oh. with the duck meat. Okay. Hang on a second here. Let's see Something oh, on top okay. and below. Well, sandwiching them here, right? Yeah. Hmm. So he's going to be grilling the whole thing again. Char the surface a little and yeah, yeah, no? maybe no? You don't think uh, so? Well, I'm thinking probably steam it. Ah. With, okay, plastic wrap around it there. Okay. Oh, maybe for bon marie. One more time? Uh, heating it in hot water. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, look, dobin mushi. Oh, you're right, yeah. Soup finished in earthenware teapots. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, yeah, wow. Had to know that this one was coming. Very traditional Japanese way to enjoy this mushroom. It's a soup in style. Isn't it? All right, now Sakai, the plastic wrapped ones, laying them down in this shallow pan. And what is, now what is happening here? I think what he wants to do is maintain a certain shape and using the wrap to do that. Oh, okay, just for the shape then. Yeah, so he didn't heat them in hot okay, water. Okay, now then. they are moving away with them. As they are. Uh, yeah, and, oh, what's into the fridge? Making in, them cold? In they go. Now, I didn't see this one coming. Uh, that'll have the effect of firming them up. Fifteen minutes left in the battle, and now on Takahashi's side, and while he continues to slice away over the sink, his barbecued matsutake mushrooms, those should be just heavenly. Uh, yeah, and the Iron Chef is uh, fresh cream. Soup's on and out. It looks kind of like miso soup. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no. You know, you'd think it's something that was being made on the other side there. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, I guess yeah. so, but, uh, yeah, well, it really doesn't look very French. Not at <laughs> no, all, no. Fukui-san, yes. Hattori-san is right. This uh, consomme does have fresh cream added to it. All right, called it. Okay, but he's going to be doing more to that, though. There's something else has to be done. Maybe he's going to steam it again? Uh, I don't know, but definitely not... Definitely not finished yet. Okay, no, more treatment necessary on this yeah, one then. Yeah. Wow. All right, check it out. What oh, a load of mushrooms. Mushy soup, look at that. Never seen anything like this uh, before. <laughs> you know, and the, and the matsutake is just like spilling out from the teapot. <laughs> They're not fitting in. <laughs> matsutake <laughs> mushroom soup doesn't do it justice, call you know, it that. Oh, yeah, you know, if this shows up on your on your table, you have no idea how much you're going to pay. Viewers must be <laughs> drooling. I feel very lucky today. It's a good year if you can have this just once. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, and there's nothing else, just matsutake in right. there. Usually there's prawns, pike eel, things like that, but just no room in here. Yeah, normally I have to search for the matsutake with my chopsticks. <laughs> <Right. laughs> yes. Challenger Takashi noticed that you were talking about his soup, and he says, yes, this is the ultimate form of matsutake soup, dobin mushi style, with nothing added but matsutake. All right, got hey, it. Hey, who can argue uh, with that? It doesn't get any better. The ultimate matsutake mushroom soup there. Yeah, usually you get too many other little things mixed in with it. So. Mm, you have to worry about the price, of course. Yeah. <laughs> While enjoying this mushroom in its purest form, wow. 
Yakuzan. Yes. I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but a moment ago, Iron Chef Sakai was mixing something in a medium-sized bowl. The ingredients in that mixture are egg yolks, curry powder, butter, and fresh cream. Curry powder, wow. When did he do that? It was just a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay. And butter, cream, hmm, now that would lead me to surmise that uh, some kind of sauce is on the mm. way from the Iron Chef French. A little early to tell yet. It could be to pour on Ten top and then to grill go. the whole thing. On top of the uh, mousse-like item he has. Yeah, so the bottom part won't be like a mousse at all, more like a soup. Okay. Uh, Omar soup. All right, mm. soup below and above would be the... Um, the top would be kind of charred or hardened, I guess. Oh, yeah. kind of like a lid on yeah. top. Yeah, curry-flavored one. Okay, well that <laughs> fills it in. <laughs> He said earlier he was going to do something to it, that the soup wasn't done, and now back with Takahashi and more Matsutake. Something new. Mm -hmm. Yes, another set of mushrooms there, giving them a, a slice treatment lengthwise, quarters or eighths. Kusan, yes. Challenger Takahashi says that the fire that he was using for charbroil is not as strong as he wanted, so unfortunately that dish may not be ready to be served at the end. He says he did have room for five dishes, but he may have to drop back to his original plan of three. Oh man, that is tough. Mm -hmm. Couldn't get the mm -hmm. fire hot enough. That is bad news for the challenger there. Oh, take a look at the Iron Chef here. I think I called it. Uh, here we go. Wow, <laughs> Going on top. <laughs> yeah, Sabayon style, but he has to do a little bit more to this yet. Still not finished. So he has to cook it uh, once again. Well, it's go, a... Go for the oven, maybe? Royale in style, so I have to at least char the surface. That's that's going to be my bet. Uh -huh. How much? How much you want to bet? <laughs> well, he could change it after hearing you say that, right? <laughs> that's true, that's true. He's not that nasty, uh, Didn't though. he do that once or twice <laughs> on you before? He did that to me once before, yes. You're kidding, really? Yep. <laughs> uh, but today, maybe not. Mm. Okay, oh. now I'm on to the challenger's side here. He's using chrysanthemum flowers added to this, right? Wasabi and chrysanthemum what flowers. What a combo. Oh, great match for the matsutake mushrooms. The king of fall flavor, as they like to call now, it. Now, were the flowers raw, uncooked? No, no, no. They were cooked once. Lately. Okay. Yeah. And, or you mean the mushrooms? They were grilled, right? Grilled? These here? I think so. I think these are uncooked. Yeah, I have to second that. Really? Hmm. Can you eat this uncooked? <laughs> Fukuzan? Yes. These are raw. Okay, well, I missed that one. Okay, wow. got you there. So, sashimi style, I guess. What? Sashimi of Matsutake? Hey! <laughs> Matsutake sashimi, this one I gotta try too. Fukuzan! Yes! These are raw! Oh boy, missed that one. Wow. All right, got it. So I guess sashimi style. What? Sashimi of Matsutake. Hey. Matsutake sashimi, this one I gotta try too. Now here's the sabayon style. Okay, courtesy of the Iron Chef. You'll be cooking this. Okay, gonna give it some heat on top right there. See, I knew he'd do that. <laughs> Congratulations, Doc, you did it again. Doc, still on fire. <laughs> Just my lucky day, I guess. <laughs> yeah, right. And still with the Iron Chef here, and now look, they've taken this one out of the fridge. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay, that one, right. I, that's the one he wanted to fix the shape of, right? By yep, doing it yep, that way. Okay. Okay. So shape them, then cook them. Right, so now he'll cook it lightly here, and then I'm oven, I guess. Also into the oven. I huh. think so. I think just sauteing it won't cook it thoroughly. Wow, he has to go through a lot of steps. Wow, laborious effort here by Sakai. And now, let's see, look. Oh, oh, he's got the little hibachi grills for each taster. Oh. All right. Okay, so I have to make a correction here. It's not going to be raw. The tasters will broil the mushrooms themselves. I there you see, go. I see. Yeah, so the raw ones, of course, a little bit difficult to eat. So. And here the challenger tearing them up. Yeah, that would be to make it for quicker broiling, I guess. To him, this is nothing special. Okay. Oh, <laughs> just like just this, right it? here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And so what about the raw ones? Um... Uh, mm -hmm. Still a sashimi. Hey, we're going around in circles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, either way, it's going to be great food. Let's leave it at that. Yes. Go ahead. I think I have the answer for you. According to the challenger, they are to be eaten raw with a sauce. Okay, sashimi Ooh. style, raw matsutake. Swish. I missed that one, too. <laughs> Hope it's not uh, raw hide. Five minutes to go. All right, five minutes left in the battle. It's going to be a first for most of us, don't you think? Okay, well, let's let's get back on uh, the matter of hand here. Okay. So those went in the oven, right? Okay, now here on Sakai's side. S Sakai, They're okay. Doing fine on that side. Yeah. All right, still in the oven, and okay. they're in the pan. Yeah, well, this isn't very unusual, though. Okay. Fukuzan. Yes. It looks like the challenger will serve his charbroiled matsutake dish. He says he'll serve two kinds of sauces to go with that. All the right. tasters can choose between a soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce blend, or the cured plum sauce and kombu seaweed broth mix, or both. Back to you. Okay, okay. I see. Wow. wow, what a combination for the sauce right there. Yeah, that's often done in a, in a steak sauce. It's okay. very good. Well, I've done it for cooking vegetables, you know, like cabbage and frying them. Yeah. You, you have done that before. That's mm. very good. Mm, it's a bit sweet, a bit hot. 
You know, okay, did it's, not know that. It's the fact that it's this chef doing it, which makes it unusual. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right, now they are out oh, there. That's pretty. Ooh. The sabayon sauce. Surface slightly charred. Now, is it yellow because of the curry? Exactly, yeah. It's out of the salamander oven now. Okay, so. now on Takahashi side, they yeah. seem to be done with this one, the citrus and soy sauce there. And the grated daikon radish. And mm -hmm. daikon to be added there. Mm, this must be so refreshing. Oh, indeed. It's perfect to enhance the natural flavor. And the texture as well with this one. Yeah, now if we can get a shot the Iron Chef, he's finishing up his his dish over there. Okay, there Sakai here plating that one and on top of something it looked like there. Yeah, that's the, the duck meat dish, I believe. Oh, duck is inside. Interesting. Duck and, and matsutake mushroom, that's rich enough for you. Yeah, and some potatoes as well. Right, right. And now oh, here's here the soup go. going down. Adding the broth. Okay, yeah. the broth now added to the dobing mushi. This is the challengers. Matsutake in its purest form. Takahashi's Kyoto style cuisine against Sakai's French with matsutake. Aroma will be the key. And which man is going to have the better of it manipulating the wonderful aroma of these in season mushrooms? And here I think are his fries. Yeah, it's uh, Fukiyoshi in style. Okay, so. with ginkgo nuts to boot. Wow, very appealing visually. Yeah, all the latest in the fall colors. Okay, and now. Now back to the Iron Chef side, making his own presentation statement, adding mushrooms on top. On top, oh. more on top. A double shot of the theme ingredient with matsutake rolled in the fish as well. You know, I think Sakai-san's done a very good job of using this Japanese mushroom. All right, now on the challenger side, the dobing mushi going into the steamer. And now worried about getting the lids on all these teapots. <laughs> well, they actually only need the outer lid there. <laughs> all right. Well, what about when serving? Okay, now back with Sakai. No. Oh, okay, just as we thought. Some smaller pieces there. That'll accentuate the use of the theme. Nice touch. Too, yeah. hmm, marking mm. his dishes. And again, soup at the bottom of this one. Right, uh, Royale style, as we said, a double layered presentation. Okay. Mm. Now with One the challenge here, and now a minute to go, the final 60 seconds of this Matsutake mushroom battle. Ah. Sakai laying it down, something added to the sauce there. Yeah, those are Kyoto herbs is the best way to describe it. Okay, and the sauce. It has to be timed. And right at the end, and in the last minute, pouring the sauce down and around, doubling down on the theme on that one, and now Takahashi, basket in hand. <laughs> Looks like takeout packages. <laughs> yeah, they do. Takeout ready to go. <laughs> How thoughtful of him, thank you very much. The Kyoto style cuisine master just a slight mess up with the charcoal iron chef sakai tested once again with the theme go. ingredient not used in french cuisine still showing his versatility as the challenger go. makes a last check of his dobing mushi he's impressed yeltsin but now he'll Five have seconds. to impress the tasters Three, the final seconds two, ticking down in this matsutake one. mushroom battle and that's it the cooking's done the battle is over how do you feel now after the 60 minute battle now i know just uh, how short an hour can be uh -huh. after doing this today. Yes. I understand. And how did your dishes turn out in the end? Hmm, I did uh, all I could. I think I did. So that could mean a win for sure then? I don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> did the all new cuisine go as planned? Hmm, I did have a little more time than I thought. Uh huh. Uh, it's about 92%. Ooh, 92. Challenger Takahashi is offering five dishes. First, matsutake salad, an excellent starter with chrysanthemum flowers and daikon radish. Fried matsutake mushrooms, served with fried chestnuts and ginkgo nuts. Autumn flavors enjoyed with soy and Worcestershire sauce. Dobing mushi soup, only here could one enjoy this much matsutake, so rich in aroma and flavor. Fourth, matsutake sashimi style, an eye-opening dish, and the experience in this unique offering is heightened by the slightly sour sauce made from cured plums. Last, broiled matsutake, barbecued over bean-cho charcoal. The bonito broth and citrus juice create a delicate harmony, drawing out the natural flavor of this mushroom. Iron Chef Sakai counters with his set of three. First, matsutake and Omar lobster soup with a curry-flavored sauce layered on top. The textures of matsutake and omar lobster are combined wonderfully. Second, steamed matsutake in tilefish. The savory sauce with chopped matsutake mushrooms is the key to the overall experience. Last, duck meat in shredded matsutake and potatoes. The potato shoestrings and matsutake encrust the duck. It's all tied together by a veal broth. One night in Akasaka, a revelation for then Russian President Boris Yeltsin with his introduction to Kyoto-style Japanese cuisine as prepared by an uncompromising chef, today's challenger Masamitsu Takahashi. 
Stepping into Kitchen Stadium, he chooses to battle Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai. Chairman Kaga unveils a challenger-friendly theme ingredient, a bevy of beauties, Matsutake mushrooms. Challenger Takahashi made plans for three, but finishes with five dishes. For the Iron Chef, hamstrung by the theme, it's quality, not quantity, with his threesome. And now, the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the Matsutake battle are Egyptologist Sakuji Yoshimura, newscaster Ren Ho, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of Challenger Takahashi. I tried not to overpower the Matsutake mushrooms. That was one thing I considered very deeply. <laughs> it's too good. I'm just out of words. The sting of the grated daikon radish is just right for enjoying matsutake mushrooms. Oh, perfect. I think it was a wise choice using daikon radish and not marinating the whole thing. Yes, it doesn't overpower the aroma. It's sort of like an oyster fry. The juice comes out as you chew. You added something to the sauce, right? Worcestershire sauce and a soy sauce. A secret ingredient. How about ketchup? Too wild? That's no good. <laughs> I feel sorry for the mushroom. Ah, right, okay, I see. You shouldn't even add a broth to this. Huh? So nice. So, what I've had in the past wasn't real dobenmushi. <laughs> Where did the ginkgo nuts go? Uh, the With ginkgo the nuts. Oh, I see, here? Yes. Oh, can I add it to this? <laughs> I feel sorry for the mushroom. Oh, great, that again. <laughs> I wonder about the aroma. It's completely raw, isn't it? I agree that it's top quality, but the aroma is not accentuated enough. I feel sorry for the mushroom. Is it okay to eat these raw? Uh, I mean, the mushrooms? Matt's stuck in mushrooms. They're, they're not fatal. <laughs> no, not fatal. <laughs> you scared so me. Of fact, we won't die? <laughs> this is it. I don't think there's any question Matsutake mushrooms are just best charbroiled. And this sauce, quite frankly, elevates it to the level of an art form. Now up the dishes of Iron Chef Sakai. Mushrooms are popular in Europe, so I tried to use the same technique, but this mushroom has a unique aroma to it. It was very hard to match it with French flavors when I was doing it. This is a first for me. It's a nice surprise. The combination of the sabayon was an eye-opener. It's good. Well, the texture is no problem. But the aroma of the mushrooms is overpowered by the curry flavor. It's an orthodox dish, except for rolling up uh, the uh, mastake in it. How can I put this? It didn't seem like a dish that accentuated the matsutake mushrooms, I felt. Compared with the first soup, you've done better in accentuating the aroma of the matsutake. You can't avoid overpowering this mushroom using a French sauce. But I think you've done well in that uphill battle. The sauce goes well with the mastake. Perfect. And you're the only one who could have pulled this off. And I like the flavors of the duck meat and the potatoes around it. In my opinion, this is a perfected dish. A perfect finisher. Will it leave the last impression? We shall see.
今日の料理をエリツィンが食べたとしたら彼は何と評したでしょうかロシア大使館の方々に今日の対決をぜひ本国に報告していただきたいそう思いますそれでは発表しますこのようにして Takahashi had the edge with the theme, but that didn't guarantee him a win. Still had to go out and get the job done. Obviously, impressing the tasters just as he did Boris Yeltsin. The man is for real. Today's winner, Masamitsu Takahashi.